So we're gonna come back to the jackets. Let's finish off the shirts. My eyes are drawn to like puffers like that one right there. I have to look, I gotta do it. What have we got? Whirling, embrace the thunder, feel the world. I've never heard of that brand. Is that anything? Whirling, big puffer piece, like heavy puffer. Here's an Eddie Bauer puffer right there. I let the, I let the allure of the jackets get to me. Holy moly. Let's go. Fur hood, are we faux fur hood? 10 bucks on this piece, Eddie Bauer. I think it's Goose Town. Let's check the tag for Goose Town on this. It's women's 2X, so plus size. I won't call it big size, I'll get in trouble for that. Oh, I just did. All right, so where's the materials? Let's see. Insulation down, minimum 80% down, so there we go. Little down Eddie Bauer piece. This might be my favorite find so far today. Not the perfect time of year for that, but if I price it right, I could flip that pretty quick. It is snowing in a lot of places in the country. I'm having a hard time resisting the urge to the jackets here. I'm gonna go back to the short sleeves and we'll get to that. That jacket's 10 bucks, 9.99. Whirly is a good one, really good one. Oh yeah. Should I throw that one in the cart? Pick up Whirly, okay, okay. I appreciate y'all, I'll go grab it right now. What do we have here? Never heard of that brand. We passed on this Land's End last week. Size small, five bucks. Modern tag. Probably the same person who bought the, uh, who uh, donated the puffer jacket that I, or the puffer vest that I sold this morning. I already grabbed the Orla. Yes, you did not. <laughs> That's funny. That'd be so cool if there was just somebody that came to the thrift store and this was like right in front of me, no matter which aisle I went to this went right in front so there we go there's the tag right there for you orally I don't know anything about it but the, the chat is live with this one I say pick it up some cool detail stuff wow it's got the the vents on the sides all the way up it's a nice piece what do they want for it I don't see a tag on it. The jackets are typically 10. Wow, this is a really cool piece. I think it's a two layer. Yeah, yeah, I think this top layer snaps off or something. Or snaps open. What a weird piece. What I mean by weird is cool. $80 sold comps. Do you see this? How it's got like this. It's like this snap off thing. Yeah, it snaps. I guess it doesn't snap all the way off, it flips open. What, do you put like a dog in there or something? I don't even know what you'd do with that. Tag behind it. Oh, there it is. 10. Let's go. Jackets are popping off. Just got a subscriber over on YouTube. I got a notification. I think it was Aaron. So Aaron, if you're in this live, appreciate you going over and subscribing over on YouTube. This whole video will be over on YouTube. I'll probably get it up tomorrow. Gotta go to a haircut after this. And by the time I get home, I think we're going out for some um, to an Asian fusion place for dinner. Kim wants to do so. Just won't have time to get that video out tonight, but it'll, we'll get it up tomorrow for you. I kind of like that golf pole. It's a size small, so I'm going to pass on it. But this would be like a, uh, a contrast collar, so that's something that people would look for. Thrifty Missy, thanks for the subscription over on YouTube. I get the feeling you're here in this chat, too. Let me know if you are. Appreciate you going over there to YouTube and jumping on board. 
You can also see the last, I have five other live thrifts posted up there. I think it's fun to be able to kind of see the, the process of going through this. Not a bad, uh, I don't pick up a lot of Columbia, but I could see the argument for picking this up if it was a better size, but size small, no way. Pretty unique looking piece there. Columbia, really crowded market. When do, you, when do you upload these and where? I'll be checking back for that Eddie Bauer. Um, it'll be uploaded on YouTube, uh, and I'll get that up tomorrow. Typically, I do it the night, uh, but we got plans tonight, so. Oral A men's coat is selling 55 to 68. I think that was a women's coat. It was in the women's section, but um, I do appreciate hearing about the men's, too, just to give me an idea of the, of the value. Chat is awesome, helping out with comps and stuff. Why do smaller sizes not sell? Um, I think because Americans tend to get bigger. <laughs> uh, the, the bigger sizes, you're looking at a lower supply of those items online. Harder to find, especially if you get into like 2XL tall, 3XL tall, those real big sizes, 3XBs. I sold a 6 extra big today, 6XB. Just lower supply. A lot of competition in clothing when you're selling on eBay and Poshmark. I'm a big Solomon fan, as you know. Run. Just a t-shirt. There's no value there, but. Planner shop. Go back for the egg. I don't know what you're talking about. Quick scan, see if there's shoes. Here's a pair of Cole Hans. Gonna pass on those. The egg shirt, please. I don't even know. I'm looking back. I don't know. Got the egg. I don't know what you're talking about, sorry. Yes, the B means big and like X uh, like two XB. This vest was here last week too, or two weeks ago. This is the last time I was here. Thanks for the follow, Anna. Thanks for the follow, your mom. That's funny. <laughs> look at the tuxedo shirt. Oh, look at that, an App State tuxedo shirt. Go Nears, that's a funny shirt. It's champion tag, an App State tuxedo shirt that's pretty funny it's in kind of rough shape i do kind of want to buy it thanks for the follow uh ekala ekalmanza i'm probably saying it wrong i'm sorry i'm trying ash thanks for the follow emeralds thanks for the follow like b is bigger because t is taller correct yep go so do like a do a search on ebay for like a brand so a brand that commonly comes in like the xb sizes is ralph warren do a search on Ralph Warren for like something like 4XB and compare the measurements to 4XL. You'll see that they'll, they'll be bigger. They tend to be wider rather than taller. I think I've passed on this Orvis two different times. I've sold the same shirt brand new with tags before. A lot of followers coming in. Appreciate everybody jumping on board. And while you're at it, why not uh, check out my Instagram account. Give me a follow over there. I put some different content up there. Put like uh, daily brand features up on Instagram. I'm not really hiding that stuff from my TikTok followers. Just TikTok doesn't do photos well. Instagram does. TikTok does videos well. TikTok does lives well. It's kind of a cool Russell piece. No value, but neat. I think the jackets might hit because you know what? People here in Asheville, it's, so, it's been so warm the last week or so that people probably aren't buying jackets. Look at that. That's a cool prana piece. It's got some wear to it, some fading and stuff, but it's super heavy, Sherpa lines. It's kind of a cool jacket. I actually kind of like it. It's a size large, so it'll be a big on me, but what do they want for it? Seven bucks. Yeah, prana can be hit or miss for me. This is, I think, a unique enough piece. I think someone will come around and want it. It's kind of got like a weathered look to it. Like almost like a distressed, but that Sherpa collar, Sherpa lined. Sunding. Got some fall raven in it. Yeah, I would say that, yeah, yeah. Some fall raven. 
That's a cool piece. I'm excited about that one, actually. I, uh, I know someone who might want to buy that piece, actually. Although, he's in Asheville, and we're getting past the cold weather, so he might not want it now. That's a warm, heavy jacket. I agree. I think that's a good pickup. I think the jackets are going to jump off. They already have been. We got three like nice jackets already. And we barely just scratched the surface here. So in Asheville, people aren't like the locals aren't buying jackets right now. Here's an older Marmot uh, Windstopper. They want seven for. I'm actually got a pass on this. It is a. Uh, it's like a hundred percent dog fur at this point. Ninety percent dog fur. That'll be like a. A full lint roller. I'm all, I'm all set with that. I'm all set with that. Marmot's a good brand, though. And that wind stopper, people look for that. Here's a little salmon piece. It's an ugly collar. It's got some stains on it. Could be some value there if it wasn't stained up. That marmot zip is fried. It's also 100% dog hair too. Somebody said that in a live. I stole that from someone. They said it in a live the other day. Do you set a budget when you go to I don't. Um, I could see why somebody would want to. But I have a, I've been in this business for over four years now. I have a business account. It's specific, you know, business bank account and business credit card specifically set up for, for this. So um, I'm good there. This is also 100% dog hair. So I'll buy as much stuff as I can make money off of today. And honestly, like say, I'll probably spend like something like 160 bucks today. It's been pretty typical for recent visits, but I'll have from what I find today, I'll probably have more than $160 worth of sales in like a week from these items, you know? So before that credit card bill even comes in, a month from now, I'll definitely have already been in a profit. So, kind of an interesting piece. Geez, I don't know if I have a credit card, business credit card recommendations. I'm a member of Navy Federal Credit Union, so I use them for as much as I possibly can, including my business uh, credit like things like car loans and stuff. I don't have a car loan but in the past things like car loans I'll use them for too but maybe there's some people that can recommend a good business card in the chat I just uh all I know is what I use I put stuff in marketplace and I can't even sell I stopped using personally I stopped using marketplace back in October because I was in the same boat as you I know some people still do well but I can't I can't sell anything on there I couldn't sell water in a desert on Facebook marketplace check out the stuffed animals. Uh, I might peek over there. It's really not my thing. Question in the chat about stuffed animals. Not really my thing. I know there's money to be made in stuffed animals. Mm, just not my thing. And that's what's cool. It could be your thing. You can make a lot of money with stuffed animals, but just not my thing. That looks, that's a, that looks like an L.L. Bean tag. It's been ripped off. Shoot, this jacket's good. I really think this is an L.O. Bean. Sorry, one hand rustling with this thing. So I think that's an L.L. Bean tag. It's a really big size, 2XL. But I need something else on here to confirm the L.L. Bean, really more for the buyer than it is for me. Gosh, this is like, it's like, 40% dog hair on this one. Looks like a Marty McFly from Back to the Future. 
well, he used to wear uh, the vest, right? That was his thing, the red vest. So I'll give you a, I'll give you half credit for that one. That's a decent piece, an older bean, not vintage. I just don't want to mess with all the dog hair. It's seven bucks. No LL Bean tag to confirm it. Oh, you're right. It might say it on the materials tag. Good call. I do get the Polar Tech tag here. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, let's see. We got YKK zippers. Sometimes they'll say it on a zipper. I got nothing to really confirm for a buyer that this is Bean, unfortunately. Could I still do it? Yeah, but it's borderline for me too because it's like 40% dog here. I don't really want to deal with it. Yeah, I know it's Bean. I'm just looking for something that would confirm it for a buyer. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. I don't really love the fact that I'm going to have to lint roll this for 15 minutes, but it's a really big size. In the cart you go. Yeah, maybe in the pocket. It's tough with one hand to kind of pull that off. Yo, hey. What's up? What do we have here? One of my favorite brands. So, 100% lamb's wool. It's an older tag. I don't know if that's vintage, but that's, that's older. What do they want on it? That's going to be $4.99. It's not my favorite Pendleton. Yeah, you see me jump scare. That's funny. 40% dog hair. <laughs> this one's, uh, yeah, maybe 45% dog hair. Uh, it's typical with wool. It's a couple of little blemishes on it. I don't know. We'll look it over a little bit more carefully uh, when I have two hands. I know, it's like the dog hair rack. Asheville people and their Subarus and their dogs and their IPAs. <laughs> what in the heck is this? Thing? Yeah. I gotta know what the brand is. I just gotta know. White Stag, look at that thing. Let's go, nothing says spring like this jacket. <laughs> Sorry if you're wearing that ja that same jacket watching this live right now. It's a nice jacket. Your grandmother loves it. Old Walmart. Man, all right, jackets are doing pretty good. Let's do the other side. So here we go. Coats $9.99. Last time we found a Brooks Brothers blazer on this very rack. And actually that live from two weeks ago is posted up here. I think that's in part two of that live. This might be, we might be in part two territory on this one already. On that note, uh, we are looking, I'll do like a little YouTube teaser for you. We are looking for clothing at Goodwill here to resell online on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, and Grailed. Last time we were here, we picked up 29 items. This is part two of, I think we probably have about 15 or 16 items in the cart. So we might be able to catch pace with last week. Appreciate you joining. If you have questions, let me know down in the comments. Do my best to get to all those questions. If you're dropping those questions on YouTube, I'll get to all of those questions and comments. If you're dropping them on TikTok live here, I'll get to some of them. I'll do my best. This is a Goodwill, that's right. Thank you for the follows. Appreciate the roses. The gifts are totally unnecessary, but totally appreciated too. So thank you. When you go live, there's like no, my phone doesn't show me what time it is. Does anybody know what time it is? I think it intentionally hides the time. It's kind of like in Vegas, they don't have clocks anywhere. They just want you to stay at the tables and spend money. Gosh, I should have asked Eastern time. Okay, sounds like we're 2.15 Eastern, Pacific, cool, awesome. I got an appointment at 4.10, so plenty of time. Here's a BKE, I haven't really been picking up this brand. I don't really know anything about BKE and women's. This piece is in kind of rough shape. Interesting piece, I don't know, maybe there's money to be made there, maybe not. Not on a rough shape, but if you found that in good shape, maybe. 
just don't know how BKE does in women's. In men's, it's kind of meh. The men's jeans do well, though. It's 113 in Alabama, so two-year time. Appreciate that. Hoping to find maybe a men's blazer tucked in here that's worth good money, like that vintage Brooks Brothers we found two weeks ago. Let's find us maybe a Patagonia. I think we found a Patagonia in one of the recent trips here. Patagonia Women's Fleece. Here's a men's blazer, Banana Republic. Really no value there. This might be able to sell for you know, maybe 20 bucks, but to spend, uh, that'll be seven bucks to make, to sell for 20, not worth it. Plus blazers take a few extra photos and a couple extra measurements, so it just means a little bit of extra time. So a definite pass on that Banana Republic. Did you just pass a Lulu, Christy? I don't know. Um, good eye though, maybe. Could you give me a hint of what it looked like? Is London Fog a good brand for coats and jackets? Um, I'm sure there is some that's valuable for London Fog. I generally pass on it. I've sold a few uh, over, over the years. Red tag missing. Polka dots we're looking for. About 15 back teal blue. So I'm looking for a red jacket and I'm looking for a teal blue. And I'm looking for polka dots. I have a lot of L.L. Bean stuff if you're interested. Most of the items are like new. Thanks for sharing that. You can hit me up on IG in a DM if you want to chat about deals and stuff. Always open to that kind of thing. No one knows. Thanks for looking out, though. Appreciate that. Teal blue. I just don't know what people are. Polka dot is. Is that a good brand? It's kind of got some fading and stuff to it. It's an interesting pattern. So Killa in the chat is saying that this might be something. I don't really know anything about women's. Just start over the row. Yeah. Let's just do a retake. You can watch it on the, the recording on YouTube. I'll put it up tomorrow so you'll be able to watch the whole thing. It's Y2K we get it. It's relaxed and distressed. Really. Yes on the Juicy. I mean, what are we talking about value? It has a little bit of like kind of, it's not super fresh. It's got some kind of fading to it. I don't know if you're picking that up on the camera. I mean, is it a borderline pickup? Is it a great pickup? Because if it's kind of borderline, here's an Eddie Bauer jacket. Sometimes I'll give these a peek, but this is a pretty plain. Yeah, really nothing going on here. Cotton polyester brand. It is a tall large, which is why I picked that one up. Hard pass on the juicy. I love like the split, like the uh, the opinions are like split. It's like we have two political parties talking in here. And let's not go that route. I'm sorry I even said it. Juicy is old school. Okay. Eddie Bauer is popular. If you pick up the right pieces, I pass on probably 95% of Eddie Bauer. I do have one in the cart, though, because it is a faux fur hood and a goose down. So you're looking for unique pieces, the more expensive Eddie Bowers. Juicy is a bolo, that's good to know. I don't think that that jacket, just because of the condition. Appreciate y'all looking out for me. Especially in the women's section where I am a, a total newbie. I shouldn't even say newbie, I almost like don't even really try. Columbia Titanium, 10 bucks. I think that's a nothing. It's a little soft shell piece. Did 
accuracy depends on where you live and market though. Well, I would sell, um, I would sell it online. I sell on five platforms, including internationally on three of them, so. What is this piece? What a weird jacket. Thanks for the invitation to join. I'm gonna pass right now, but um, maybe another time. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here, by the way, too. So they want here, I guess they're touchy at this store, but let me go to the new racks, which I'll never in a million years understand because if I went in there and, and grabbed some of that stuff, it would literally save them work. So it would be good for the employees because they wouldn't have as much work to do and it would be good for the store because they wouldn't have to pay for as much labor. But they don't want me to go in there. It's the only store I've ever been to where they did that with the racks, like roped it off. I'm sure there was some kind of incident, um, which is why they do it that way. All right, so we're done. Women's jacket section. So now let's go to suits and blazers. That's my favorite stuff. We are loading up this rack. So if you're just joining and you want to know like what is all this stuff in here, we are filling up this cart. Um, if you want to know, I'm going to put up this recording tomorrow up on YouTube. I might pick up this pair of jeans. It's a, not a great size in the 3230. The smaller sizes don't do as well especially in a really common item like Levi's, but this color is uncommon. Oops. Great. Having one hand to put stuff back on a rack is impossible. Blackout. There we go. To put this back on a hanger would have been impossible. So the beauty with this pair of jeans is, uh, it's an uncommon color, so there won't be as many of these listed on eBay. But the part that's not great is the stains all over it, so we're going to pass on them. But I like the bigger sizes in Levi's, too. That one's a smaller size. Some work pants, not a great brand, though. We're going to go through the pants in a minute. I want to go through these suits and blazers. This is my favorite stuff right here. So we're obviously we're gonna check the brands, but looking beyond the brands, we're looking for, especially for linen and silk. We're looking for bigger sizes and we're looking for patterns. That's a nice pattern on this, I kinda like that. Stripes do good too. You can sell solids too, they just don't, they're just so common. So there we go, Ralph Warren. This is a brand I buy and sell a ton. This seems like a big size. Do we have a hit? 48R, great size, great size. 100% wool, nice pattern. That'll sell, I'll list this for uh, for probably 45 to $49 plus shipping. I kind of like that pattern. So yeah, I think that's gonna be 49 plus shipping will be my listing on that. Key there being that big size. Ralph Warren's a crowded market. The bigger you get on the sizes, the, the less crowded the market will be. Um, best way to check out how I do my measurements for um, suits and blazers is just go to my eBay store in my Poshmark closet and I literally have the measurements in the photos so you can see exactly how I measure. That's probably an easier, more instructive way of doing it than trying to describe it here. Hope that helps. Not dodging your question, I just think that's a better answer. And all my stores are linked up in my profile. You can just click on on my name here on TikTok, if you're watching on YouTube, you can just go down below in the description and I'll have the, the link to my website. Or you can just go to chrisatpeak.com. I feel like that's pretty easy to remember. I don't know what this brand is. Does anyone know this brand? Blanc Brothers, the Mountaineer, Kings Mountain, North Carolina. Okay, it's like a, a small town tailor probably is what that is. So this might be a no name brand. Made in the USA. Yeah, it's just a small town tailor. Nobody needs to bother looking that up. Yes, much easier. There you go. I have a small pair of you know, tag Johnny O pants. They're just sitting. Small sizes don't move well. Small sizes are tough. Snap dabbles in the house. Hope you're doing well. Snappy. Let's so we're already, this is a small suit and blazer section. 
but we already got some money in the cart. Past these Joseph A. Banks. There's just so much of those listed. I like Brooks Brothers. This blazer feels familiar to me, like I passed on it for some reason a couple weeks ago or something. Oh yeah, that's why. I knew it looked familiar. I remember the darn distincts. Our 100% cashmere blazer is a good pickup. Yes, of course you gotta look at the brand, the size, the pattern, all those things matter too, but generally speaking, cashmere is one of the best things to look for. It can turn a mediocre brand into a, a really strong buy brand. It'd be a great tiebreaker. Here's another Ralph Warren. Really nice pattern on this one. Also a big size. Let's check out the size reveal. 100% lamb's wool. 46L, let's go. It's a great size. 46L for me generally sells better even than a 46, just because you're talking about lower competition, like less supply listed online on places like eBay and Poshmark. Great pickup here. Really nice pattern on that. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera. Love that pattern. This will sell quick. A couple things I check real quick. Condition right on the ends of the sleeves, looking for all the buttons being present. And then the stains are most commonly right around the lapel and on the front where people eat and drink. I'll look that over more thoroughly when I have two free hands, but that was just a quick once over. Giving you guys an idea of what I look for. Yeah, that is a nice one. Is vintage on and Palmer blazers? I'm not sure, I've never picked those up before. I'm not sure. I'd have to, I just have to run the comps on them and see on what they've been selling for on eBay. I'm not sure about vintage Arnold Palmer blazers. It's another Banana Republic. I really don't mess with these. I've sold a few of them. Uh, this is a really small size and this is a cotton blazer. So nothing really special there. Not for seven bucks. Yeah, it does look like tweed. I think that is technically tweed. That'll be a quick seller. Even better if that had uh, elbow patches. I didn't see elbow patches, but that'd make it even more valuable by a couple bucks anyway, and it would probably sell a little bit quicker too. That's another thing to look for in blazers is the elbow patches. There's one right there on a corduroy too. Elbow patch corduroy, let's see what that is, but this is a, looks like a Harris Tweed. I'm not gonna pick that up. I don't pick up that brand, but that's a good thing to look for is that kind of that Harris Tweed look, professor look. Chaps corduroy, I might actually pick this up. I don't, I can't remember the last time I picked up Chaps anything, but sometimes it's just this corduroy and the patches and probably feels like a big size too. I mean, I never pick up Chaps. 44L, eh, it's an okay size. I don't know. I think I'm gonna pick it up. People just love that look, you know? By people, I mean me. I love the look of this, too. It's not peak size. And I don't got anywhere to wear something like that. Another thing, let's start jumping right into the pants. I'll scratch that quick hard goods scan since there's nobody over here right now. To go quick, I don't spend a lot of time in hard goods. I don't really focus on it anymore. Not at thrift stores. When we get to garage sale season, I'll start looking at this stuff more. Here we go. Anyone know what that what brand that is just by that? Let's see who jumps in in the chat and knows exactly what that brand is. Just by that little hook. Who's got it? There we go. That's right. Everyone in with the reviewer. You'll find these like garage you do it sorry about the noise you'll find these at garage sales all over the place you'll find them at local thrift stores in florida they used to price these up a lot this doesn't have much value it's two bucks um this is a one quart or a one and a half quart um this is probably a 15 dollars piece right here but a good thing to look for clean that thing up nice and quick with some uh stainless steel cleaner and get that out the door maybe 15 bucks Here's another one. This one doesn't have the lid, 
so there's less value here. But again, that hook is an easy way. I'm gonna show you another hook that isn't the Revere Wear in a second. Here's another one with the hook. This might be Faber Wear actually though. Look at that. Look at that. People always say that Peak only knows clothes. Um, let's see if there's any like crazy Pyrex that jumps off the rack here. This really ain't my game. Hey, someone said they wanted me to look at uh, stuffed animals. Here you go. Spirit on the tag. There's your horse for you. Nice mane, huh? Favorite wear hook. There you go. I'm just kind of out of the breakables game unless it's like really valuable stuff. We'll do a quick spin over here. Look for some valuable tumblers. That's kind of cool. There's probably money to be made in this aisle, but a lot of breakables and a lot of smalls. A lot of small margin stuff, really not my game. I like the clothes, to be honest with you. You already know that though. Let's take a spin over here. There's nobody in the electronic section. Here's your trip to the, the plush section, whoever asked for it. We'll go to electronics in a second. Check first for some golf clubs. Looking for good brands, I'm looking for some money putters. <laughs> As usual, I don't see any of the above. I'll look at some roller blades, but not those. Uh, pick up some tennis rackets too. Good one to look for is Babolat. This is kind of promising. It's six bucks on the price here. It's in plastic. I never heard of this brand. I don't think that's anything. I don't think that's anything. Anyone know anything about that brand? Opum. If you're looking to learn more about golf, I do sell a little bit of golf. When I go to garage sales this season, I'll start picking up more golf, but I think I'm sold out of golf clubs right now. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. Uh, go, but go follow Lion Creek Boutique. He's, uh, he's your golf resource. Great reseller, really knows his golf. Knows a lot of stuff, but really knows his golf. So last time we were here, we picked up a really great brand called Zori Rushi. We picked up a bread maker. I'm gonna part it out just because I don't want to clean it up and test it and all that stuff. So I'm gonna part it out. Paid like nine bucks. I think the parts will sell for like 75 plus shipping. I don't really see anything worth my time here. Ninja coffee maker is still here, it's beat. The good thing is, is um, you can return stuff here. So you got seven days with the receipt. What the heck is that? I'm not a huge fan of electronics at the thrift store, at garage sales, yes. These are some huge Yamaha speakers. They want 25 bucks at Pete's for them. I mean, these things are freaking heavy. I'm all set. Believe it or not, these bookshelf things from Sony do good. Pretty rough shape. It's a set. The whole set is with the remote. It's 10 bucks. It's pretty dirty. Um, and the odds of it working aren't uh, super high, especially when you talk about a tape deck. Yeah, so already that button's not gonna eject this. There we go. Yeah, I don't know about that.
about that. That could, uh, to me, that's 50 50 at best that that thing even works. Get it. You can, if somebody wants to, uh, to look it up, that's the model number right there. Really easy to look up CMT CP11. CMT CP11. You can look that up real easy. It's a Sony piece with the remote as a bonus. I've shipped a lot of stereos in the past. It's not my favorite thing to do, but if there was a lot of money to be made, I'll do it. It's around 50 to 75. So if I took the low end of that 50, I'm gonna pay 10 to make, 10 to sell for 50. Whoops. I'm gonna pick these up right here. 10 to make, to sell for 50. Gotta use a bunch of packing materials, use a bunch of time. I have to clean it. It's really dirty and test it. And I might have to bring it back if it doesn't work. So one sold for a hundred bucks. Here you go. There's money to be, see, you can come into the strip store later today, even though I came through here. I'm leaving money behind. Someone can come and get that one. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I'll get these jeans, 550, big size, 44 by 32. Nice fade on them too. Even a little bit of heel drag, that's not a big deal. People like that kind of thing. Sell through right now, great on that stereo. There you go. Appreciate all y'all checking all that stuff. I almost take it, I almost like take it for granted for a second, but I, I do not appreciate it a ton. All right, so we're gonna just cherry pick the pants here. Lord have mercy. Hang those up in a second. I'm looking for corduroy. I'm looking for hiking pants. I'm looking for wool. I'm looking for jeans, particularly in big sizes. That's a Levi's, that's a big size there too. So all these jeans are $4.99. Jeans and pants, every pair flat rate, $4.99. We love spending your money. Only two of those Sony sold in the last 90 days, about $48 plus 28 shipping. Yeah. I know a lot of people might be like, well, hey, that's like, you know, that could sell for 48 bucks or 75 bucks, and that's a lot of money, but it's also a lot of work. <laughs> I think I passed on these Mountain Hardwares two weeks ago. Yep, on the last live. You can see that twice. If you go back and watch the recording. Found some good stuff at that last pick here. I think we're close today. Last time we got 29 items. I feel like maybe with a good pants section, we can get there. Could I get an East Coast time check? Since my phone won't show it to me while I'm on TikTok Live. It's like Vegas when you come into these things. Two thirty-seven. Sweet. Thank y'all. Just cherry picking. Some more Levi's. Another big size, forty by thirty-two. Probably donated, maybe by the same person. I guess it's a different big size. Those are going in. Just bread and butter stuff. I'm not getting rich off these jeans, but. Not getting rich, but a big size. 569, that's a loose straight fit, is that right? 569? Do you get a lot of returns on eBay? 2.5% of my sales result in returns. Almost none on Poshmark and all the other platforms. eBay is the return crazy platform. Where are you at? Matt Goodwill in Asheville, North Carolina. Where are you at? Brooks Brothers Corduroys. I might pick these up. Looks like a big size too. Looks like a big size. Gosh, they have some wear on them for sure. The lighting in this corner sucks. Those are decent. I actually have a couple pairs of these already in inventory. Um, that's probably like a 25 to 30 plus shipping on these. Back to my cart here. 
loose, straight fit men's jeans. There you go. Thanks, Wayne. Iowa has some amazing Goodwills. Good to know. JoJo's, thanks for the follow. Wea, thanks for the follow. Cheryl Dottie, thank you for sharing the live. That's a nice compliment. People buy. People buy question mark. I don't know what you mean. People buy question mark. Check out the end of this rack over here. Appreciate the follows coming in. That is correct. Everything that we're looking at now is uh, got to be listed on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Mercari. I don't need no clothes. I got plenty. is what exactly do I look for? I look for um, items that have good resale value used um, and that have a good sell-through rate on places like eBay and Poshmark. So there's a lot of things. Yeah, I don't think I've ever sold fry pants before. There's another Brooks Brothers where we got... I'm going to pass on these ones, smaller size, 32.30. But there could be money to be made off those. Probably 20 bucks on those. 20 to 25 on the high end. Um, when they need to, I will wash them. If they don't need it, they don't get it, and I'll let the buyer wash them when they get to them. Fry boots is definitely worth more. This is for so you're in for everybody. You're entitled to your opinion. But just to respond to that, Piggy, I started uh, the, my TikTok and Instagram channel back in June of 2020, both of those channels. And that was right when there was 15% unemployment rate across the country. A lot of people were walked out of their jobs at retail and restaurants or for different reasons, and we won't get into that, but... I was like, you know, I have this knowledge. I know how to resell. I've been doing this for years. I can help other people do it. So I started creating the content and sharing with other people. And uh, I've been in conversations with, I don't know, easily several hundred people over the years who have come and thanked me and said, hey, thanks. Um, this is the side hustle I needed to get ahead. Or I was able to leave this job that I really hated uh, because I learned how to, to resell in, in part thanks to your videos. So um, you might hate it piggy um, and it might be ruining something for you but it's not just all about you um, the world doesn't just revolve around you it's about other people too so i thought of actually about stopping creating content a few months ago i was like you know maybe i don't need to do this anymore maybe my help is complete uh, maybe people there's other people who are creating this content who are doing a good job like maybe i'm not needed no more but then we, you know, obviously we saw this like really rapid inflation and really cutting into people's spending and people needed to pick up side hustles again. Also unemployment is starting to creep back into the picture. So I said, maybe there is still purpose with this too. Maybe it still does matter. And if it, if it helps one person today, if somebody learns one brand and it helps them make 15 or $20 profit this week, uh, that helps them maybe buy some extra groceries or I don't know, 
maybe stop and be able to afford chipotle on the way home one day so they don't have to go home and cook every single night. If I can have that impact on one person, then today was worth my time. And trust me, it'd be a lot faster if I did this and I wasn't live. I'd already be done. I'd already be packed up. I'd probably be on to another store, to be honest with you. You know, the live slows me down, um, but it gives me a platform and an opportunity to teach and share, and that's important to me. And who knows if Piggy's even listening anymore. I usually don't respond to the negativity, but for some reason I felt like it was worth uh, kind of sharing my perspective. Maybe some people haven't heard me share that before about why I even do this. It's not like a popularity contest thing for me. It's just sharing kind of what I do for my business and because I know other people could use the money too. If that ruins thrifting for you, Piggy, then I'm sorry, but I really don't think it's ruining thrifting thrifting for you. I mean, we have so much stuff in here and uh, so much more stuff that we're leaving behind that other people can make money on, but we're just choosing not to. All right, I'm gonna just do some quick little spins. I'm gonna check hard goods one quick time through here. I'm gonna check the shoes. There's a lot of shoes here. There's gonna be at least something that's valuable. They're stocking like crazy today too. So I have a feeling there's a pair of shoes somewhere hanging out that I just missed. Brooks, but rough condition. I have a feeling there's some shoes kicking around. Your prom came to us. Oh, it's like a pineapple liquor bottle. That's funny. We found these uh, Olokais last week or two weeks ago with those holes in but they were like way over there in the men's section. Now they're over here in the women's section. <laughs> Someone took the time to move them to the wrong section. CCC. Sorry, this is gonna be a really quick spin. Here's some Sawayas. It's a good brand to look for. Here's a pair of approach shoes. Vibram soles, but these are just torched. Um, that's a good brand to look for though, Sawaya. Like a hiking outdoor brand. This would be considered an approach shoe. This is like what us climbers wear. Don't, um, this is an older pair of Cole Hans. I do pick up some Cole Hans. Picks up some just last week at a, on a live thrift, but not those ones. Looking for the more modern ones. Zero grands, that sort of thing. I'll give you $11,000 for everything in that store. Appreciate the offer, that's kind of you. Um, there's a lot of money to be made in this whole section too. There's a lot. I like how they separate the jeans out for the women's. Uh, I'm not going to go through them today. Um, if I had a little bit more time, I'd go through them. Look at this. Two whole sides, all women's. We're going to leave all this behind, but somebody else can come in. Another reseller can come in and, and clean house and make some money on these women's jeans. I like how they separate the jeans out for the women's. This stuff's normally overpriced, but we'll take a look in here. I haven't had any reference to any outstanding equipment on any bill in the last few years. And then I think I'll play the back. Fresh racks. I love those fresh rolling racks, but here they don't let me get them. All right, so we got a pretty good pile here. If you want to see the rest of the video, if you miss some of this, I'm going to post it on YouTube. Uh, but I've got a guess that we have somewhere around 20, maybe low 20s, like 20 to 25 items in that cart. Um, so a pretty good thrift day. I don't think we beat two weeks ago, which was 29, or last week, which is 28. But uh, I think we did pretty good anyway. So appreciate everybody hanging out for a little bit. Appreciate all the positivity. Thanks everyone for tapping the like button. We got 21,000 likes. 422 of you hanging out here while I'm working and I know some of you are working too um, so I appreciate y'all just hanging out spending some time in your day there's a million things you could be doing but you hung out with Chris at Peak and I appreciate that um, yeah this video will be on YouTube soon so go check that out I have this will be the sixth live thrift that I put up on YouTube so thanks for sharing some time with me today 
Go follow me on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and of course here on TikTok. Have an awesome afternoon. See you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll be live shipping out orders. Hopefully a good sales day. Hopefully you have a good sales day too. Peace.